are so well known for our titles for younger kids, but we have some amazing titles for older kids as well. Kenzie and Max is all about a pair of twins and how they are looking for their parents. They are whisked off to London and they had no idea how or why, but their parents are missing and they need to figure out where they are. Think secret codes and all kinds of mysteries for this series of four. A child named Quinn has always been a little bit different and he has been chosen to be one of the map makers in a quest to make a map of the world. It is a contest that the king has appointed in this dystopian book. If your child liked Harry Potter or Hunger Games, you are really going to enjoy this trilogy. Make sure you grab all three books because they go fast and they build off of each other. Anika has been kidnapped and it is up to Jazz and Jazz's nemesis Phoenix to figure out what has happened to her in 48 hours. Otherwise, she is going to die. This is going to lead them to a 20-year-old murder case and it's definitely going to keep you on the edge of your seat. Gabe is handed a coded manuscript script from a dying man and all of a sudden he is thrust into a world that he is not at all familiar with. It's very different from the monastery where he has grown up. This along with its sequel are full of mystery, intrigue, and different codes. This is an awesome series for older kids. Some kids love the gross stuff. They love danger. They love bugs. And if that is the case, our Extreme Adventures series is going to be a hit. Each of them focuses on a different adventure and a different kind of scary creature. Like this one is scorpions. Ooh. And there's, it always deals with like a life and death circumstance trying to get out of a really difficult situation involving an animal or a bug. The Clockwork Sparrow has been stolen at the grand opening of Sinclair's department store. And it is up to two girls, Sophie Taylor and Lillian Rose, to break codes and figure out who is the person who stole the coveted Clockwork Sparrow. While this is a thicker book and absolutely appropriate for older kids, this is also a good choice for younger kids who are very advanced readers because the content isn't too scary and it will definitely challenge them. True Stories of Survival is really interesting. It has 10 true stories about cases of extreme survival like the Hindenburg and it goes into a lot of depth about each one complete with some illustrations. This is a really great history lesson. We love the illustrated classics in my house and I really really like that these are complete and unabridged. This one is Alice in Wonderland and it's a complete text along with gorgeous illustrations. A really nice way to um, introduce your child to the classics and also provide some interest in those beautiful illustrations. We have several different volumes of the Bear Grylls Survival Skills Handbooks, and these are great for adventure, loving, and seeking kids, and it gives them some actual um, real-life information about how to handle different scenarios like camping and maps and knots and what to do if you're in an emergency. Sometimes kids ask you questions about things that are difficult to explain, like climate change, and our Understanding series is great at answering some of these more difficult questions. This is a book that really goes into a lot of depth about the climate crisis and it's even a helpful overview for adults to read as well. For kids who love graphic novels, we have a whole series of these. We have graphic legends. We all even have um, graphic Shakespeare, which is a really interesting way to present uh, Shakespeare. This one is the Odyssey and obviously it is abridged um, in a graphic version and it's beautifully illustrated. Really high interest here to introduce kids to the Odyssey. Our 100 Things to Know series is pretty awesome. It's presented in infographic format and in each book it focuses on a different subject. This one is the human body and it gives you a hundred facts about the human body. For instance, did you know that optical illusions are actually tricking your brain, not your eyes? And it goes into more depth about how that works and why. As kids get older, subjects in school tend to get more complex, and that's where our illustrated dictionaries really come in handy. This is the Illustrated Dictionary of Science, and it has a complete reference for biology, chemistry, and physics. And you will see this really goes into a lot of depth 
The pictures are extremely helpful for explaining difficult concepts, and there are also internet links to recommended websites. We also have the Illustrated Dictionary of Math that gives you over 500 definition of, definitions of all kinds of different key terms and concepts. There's over 300 really, really useful illustrations and diagrams, lots of different examples, and again, there are also internet links to recommended websites.